Hello guys, today Hi. I am here with KJ and we are going to talk about something very dicey. Although it will not die, it's very dicey. That's a bar, guys. Eh, hey, bar. That's a bar, guys. That's a bar. The mic didn't drop. I don't have to drop a mic before you know that it's a bar. No. So today we are going to talk about <laughs> myths about myths. Hey. Myths about worship, oh? Yeah. Myths about worship. I mean, myths. Hey, let me make it clean. Saints, hey. <laughs> there are a lot of myths when it comes to worship. People don't understand a lot of things. So we decided mm. to talk about a, a, a number of them. So today I brought in my worship expert. Hey. And today she's going to give us some tips. So today, get ready for some bars because we're going to drop some bars and going to drop some microphones. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> like, drop the microphone. So <laughs> let's go. Guys, myth number one is my boy is going to take us through. Yeah, worship is Thanksgiving. Mm, explain, 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 hmm. explain, explain. This thing, eh, mm -hmm. I don't know. I have this personal reservation about this. Okay, most of the time, when you call like worship leaders to come and lead worship and everything, mm -hmm. and they raise songs and everything, next thing you hear, just thank God, just thank God, just Begin thank, to thank God. the Lord. Like, I'm like, hold up, Begin hold to up, thank hold the Lord up. in all the earth. <laughs> In uh, all the earth. I'm like, so, do, so why, why do you think that is wrong? Why do you think we shouldn't tango in worship? I'm like, hold up. Mm -hmm, yeah. Take when we're doing opening prayer, we had a time for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And now it's time for worship. Mm -hmm. Worship is a time where you now. Like, worship is a time where your beatability level is so high. Go there. And your imagination mm -hmm. level is so, so high. Mm -hmm. Worship is a time that you look at God, mm -hmm. his nature, his mm -hmm. attributes. Mm -hmm. And you are telling him. It's not that God doesn't know. Okay. It's not that God doesn't know that he's king of all. I know about him. I know about him. What he's trying to say is that even <laughs> God doesn't know that he's king of Who told you that God doesn't know? He knows. God, confident. God, has, God knows everything. But mm. that, is this, I mean, you know something and somebody's telling you again. Me, right now, if I did, I know I'll be a fine boy. Like, me I, no. I, like, I'll, be, like, I'll be a fine boy. Like, <laughs> when you tell me, I'll, when you tell me again, I'll be okay. I'll be a fine boy. Like, I'll give me another feeling. So that's basically what God yes. says. So when it's time for worship, it's not that I can thank God for the cocoa that you ate no. and the pizza you ate so. and the girlfriend that you got. No. You have real affirm. You say real affirm. You have to tell God again, like, God, you have to be this, you have to be this. Me show on Sunday, Jumana. It a boss my mind. So that's made number one. Please worship. So it's not, not Thanksgiving. Time, Thanksgiving. And please worship leaders out there. If you're a believer, worship her, Miss mm -hmm. Unless I think our choristers and our choir people to have to know this. Give it one. to them. You shouldn't come in, stand there, and let's thank God mm -hmm. for, or they may buy here. Yeah. yeah, there's a time for Thanksgiving. Shots fired. And even in the Bible, one table is God. <laughs> and even in the Bible, God is a God of order. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Even mm -hmm. in some hundred, there's a protocol to which you have to follow with Thanksgiving. Unless you think a lot of churches don't know about the protocol. Actually. Exactly. Songs mm -hmm. of accents. The protocol mm -hmm. can be found in some hundred. Okay. And according to protocol, we have songs of accents, which t tells us about mm -hmm. who God is. Mm -hmm. God is love. God mm -hmm. is good. Mm -hmm. God is merciful. God is patient and everything. Mm -hmm. Then you move on to what? Songs of Thanksgiving. Okay. And when you hear then you have with songs, that's for like mm. praises and worship. worship. Where praises are songs of. So you see that even with the protocol, there's an order. You see, mm. and your worship time, and your worship, and you have now back here. I know, I know. Uh, worship that that's worship with um, shout to the Lord, <laughs> all the air. It's not your fault, and it's because they think it's a whole lot. So Charlie, that's myth number one, and then we have crashed that myth. Never true. Yeah. So the next. Myth is myth number two is what? <laughs> so the second myth is that people think mm -hmm. worship is music. Worship is your worship is uh, music, baby. Yeah. Worship is a slow song or a feel good song. Mm -hmm. That's you raise your challenge. Come on, come on. No, that's not only worship. Please. That's not worship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not only worship. That's not worship. Worship is goes goes beyond music. Way, way beyond music. Actually, in, in, actually or in the true sense of the mighty. Yes. Worship, uh, music is just a way we can express ourselves in worship. So we can actually express ourselves in a lot of ways. Yeah. So worship goes beyond just the music. Music. Or the slow song. song or the few good songs. Yeah. I, I change some chords and then your heart will be eh? doing you some things. No. Because worship, worship has to do with the heart. The so music. ask yourself right now, if you go to church, and no instruments, no keyboard, no drums, no nothing, no, no nothing. singer, no <laughs> microphone. So you are saying that let's worship the Lord. Why show you be able to worship God? And no, no, and only are some no, yeah, it's not our fault because that, that's how you've been brought up to believe. Like, mm -hmm. since you're quite saying that, son of my sister, but it's not true, it's not always there, it's not always true. Yeah, yeah, because so imagine go to church today, allow hey, no, 
your church, right? <laughs> uh, um, so you're going to worship the Lord. You are not seeing the keyboard. You are not seeing the thing. And they are just begin to love the Lord. They say that. And then I saw me. I'm going to 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 learn how to worship God without music. Because music is just. So we, went, we should be able to take music out of worship. And still make. And still yes. be worship. Yes. That's what I'm trying to say. So. And think, even the mm-hmm. Bible even says it in Psalm mm-hmm. 28 verse 7. Go there, Dieter. And with my song or mm-hmm. my music, I would mm-hmm. praise or I would worship mm-hmm. him. So the Bible even clearly states that music is just one of the ways Wait. in which we worship. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get it? Yeah. I can be there in mm-hmm. my closet, mm-hmm. not singing, mm-hmm. but in my heart, I'm yeah. worshiping. Yeah. I am communicating, like I am worshiping. Because I mean, you know, doesn't say yeah, I'm, not worship. I'm not worshiping. Yeah. And that, again, back to. Mm-hmm. Christ is mm-hmm. hey, and worship today. They're bars, bars, but they got bars. We are all no, 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 like, yeah, it's something you? that's like, ah, hey, oh. mm-hmm. Christ says, go, give it, it to them because them. we think that sometimes, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, it's about the slow song, it's mm-hmm. about, it's about mm-hmm. the few good mm-hmm. songs. You realize mm-hmm. that. Even during worship moments, mm-hmm. nobody to me raising your song without any. Yes, I have also realized it. Exactly. Do you know some people just think worship is just arranging of songs? I think I said it in my video with Balfour that some people just think, think worship is just song after song. So we mm-hmm. give you glory, Lord. You are wonderful. We bow down. So then, when you go, you don't really actually feel like worship. You're just like you're just singing, singing songs. Song. It is never about arranging songs. So because of the fact that people think that it's about music, they, for it's time for us, they, all they think about is arrangement of songs or song. choosing songs that mean me raise your bet. You are about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's not. Even says that we should worship him in spirit and in truth. Mm, go even there. say that we should worship him. Yes, the, there's a part of the Bible says that we should bring our praises, mm-hmm. our songs, sing hymns. Do you get it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But in it clearly says that worship him in spirit and in truth. truth. The way you would worship him in spirit and in truth is up to you. Yes. It's a personal response. Yes. I mean, I think I worship God the way in spirit in my in my food, in my eating. Ah! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm out. Myth number three. I have to feel good, feel good slash happy to be able to worship God. Yeah. That's a lie. That's a, that's a lie. Tell them why that's a lie. Because mm-hmm. worship is not about feelings. Uh-huh. Our feelings are not smart too. I mean, I'm what? Like honestly, at this point that I'm standing here, mm-hmm. I, I can be happy, like all oh, happy, 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 happy. Next minute, mm-hmm. now my yeah. So mm-hmm. if you base your worship times mm-hmm. or times you worship based on your feelings, mm-hmm. oh today I'm happy, so I worship. Or you base your ability to worship God based on your feelings, or based on the current feeling you are having right now. Yes. Ain't gonna wake. Because the, I'm saying something to support the fact that kids are saying your feelings are not smart because I know I know a lot of us here have had crash from people before. Mm. And some I, tables are shaking. Yeah, I, I said like when you had a crash, the crash tear I thought you're like, no, mm. i have managed, I'm no more crash on this boy. <laughs> but when you look back and look at the like, hey, God, <laughs> why did I crash on this boy or this girl? I know. <laughs> that's that's the point that your feelings they have I don't say foolish, but they are not smart. Your feelings are not smart. So don't base your ability to worship God on your current feeling because if yeah. you don't use feelings to. The, like the scripture we said in the previous point you didn't say that worship Worsh- God in feelings, feelings and, and in emotions. Truth. Uh, feelings, yes, no, emotions. So your feelings no. don't matter. You can be feeling some way, but but when it's time for worship, because of the person you are going to worship, you put all your feelings. I think it's about everything about Christianity. You don't use our feelings to do anything. anything, anything. So no, I last week we were discussing some tactics and the. Uh, Pastor was saying that we should be able to worship beyond. The, I don't know whether this will fall under it, but I just want to connect it. That so when you go to church and they are worshiping, and maybe the quality of the music is quite below the standard. You should of, still be able uh, to example, connect. I was like that because I am going to worship. No, I am going to worship. And then they may feel it. I am going to I think this one too also has a link to the previous point that worship is more than music because sometimes you just have, some people they are, because of the knowledge they have, they can't really. You don't really know how to do this whole, whole worship thing, like the way maybe Jumetu will do it or the way Salama mm. will do it, but, or 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 or, or send of the But I still worship. So if as believer, you should be able to worship in as much as hey, Buffalo Bay. You should be able to worship even despite the, your feelings, despite your feelings, and despite the quality of the music, music. And in that particular church, because worship goes beyond all of them. And even yeah. talking about the feelings part in, I didn't feel it or the worship yeah. leader, mommy, oh, mommy. Uh-huh. you have to bring your own atmosphere. Mm. Like your choir, sorry, you should mm. be able to bring your oh, own atmosphere. Like your own. So, 
and for who their worship leader yeah, 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 or yeah, for who yeah. song our worship leader yeah, 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 yeah. you still connect because what the atmosphere is fifty and sana woba sorry. I'm saying one one thing that will make people think uh, do this is because they think worship is a congregational thing. Exactly. Even in, even in church, for your worship, it is never a congregational. Thing. It is a one one to one. It's a personal response. Personal so. thing to go. So maybe think that oh help me sing it. We the <laughs> and you think that oh it is. The whole church against God. No, it is you and God. God. So it's a new queer. So but when you know that it's you and God, sometimes they can be singing with bad. Oh, you can you can be singing, I lift up yeah. my hands to you. Because you have know what is going on in your body. Yes. Yeah. So that's myth number three, guys. Myth number four, guys. So people think that mm -hmm. I have to cry mm -hmm. during my worship time. Oh, and I have to cry any time I worship. Yes. I'm both saying I have to cry. I have to fall down. I have to do something. Uh, like, I have to raise my hands. Yes. Or I have to mm. bow down. Mm. Or I have to mm. muni muni. I mean, so gestures. Yes. I have to do gestures. I mean, number one, gestures, gestures are very important during worship because you can't tell me that you're singing, we bow down. The, the Bible actually, actually says that the angels are in heaven bowing down, holy, holy, holy. Like, crying out the Lord God Almighty. Every time. So I think that. Physical positions are very important during worship, but they do not validate your worship. They do not make your worship worthy or not worthy. Do you get? I, I know. I hope you are getting that. It doesn't right. make your worship mm -hmm. worship or not worship. <laughs> yeah, make it right worship yeah, or wrong, wrong worship. worship. Because what I got, what I got to understand from this whole thing is that we are different personalities. The, the other person that will get kids are crying. Now never get me crying. That yeah. now get me crying. Now not get kids that crying. That does not get kids that angry. Now not get me angry. You know Emotions are very necessary when worshiping. <laughs> Expressing because when you see worship as a personal response, <laughs> it evokes some emotions yeah. in you. Yeah. And the way or the way I would express that emotion might be through lifting of hands. <laughs> the way you might express that emotion might be through crying. Yep. Or the way another person might express that emotion might be through Neither. the lying down. Yeah. So that. Crying or the type of gesture sure. doesn't validate, say, make because someone mm -hmm. might be in the congregation who will be a lie down, say, hey, me the men can't be, and I want not lie down. <laughs> but you, if you focus on your, if you focus your attention yes. on the fact that it's a personal response, yes. so it doesn't matter what someone is doing. Hey, between me and your mate, yeah, do you get it? Yeah, yes. So the type of emotion or the type of gesture, because some people have it that. I have to change and I lie down. Or cry. I have to change and I cry. Means I'm crying for me. I would like, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, if I don't, if cry. I don't cry, you are not I'm not worshipped. You are not part. Some people are, they make us feel very bad. Do you get it? Yes. <laughs> understand it's part. your own way Wait, of yeah. expressing yourself. So if yours is to cry, mm -hmm. if yours is to jump, yes. if yours to is shout. to lay prostrate, yes. if yours is to shout, shout. just go ahead and ex express that emotion. But you, right. it's not necessarily that Crying validate worship. Yep. Someone might lie down, someone might cry, someone. All these emotions are there. So if you're not experiencing one of them or some of them in your worship time, doesn't mean that my worship is wrong or right. So the emotion crying, mm -hmm. emotion that lying down, one. that particular yes. one, or those particular ones, yes, yes, so yes. it doesn't validate anything. Yes, yes, yes. That, it's just true. different emotions that yes, yes. people would evoke different, different emotions. You know, I know some people that don't really do when it's time for worship, they just going to do that. Like, like, they like just stand there and fold their hands. Do you know what is going on in them? Charlie, but it's very also good. So we are not yes. saying that it's not good, though. We are saying that it's 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 bad, though. Oh, you can you can like, try. You can the, lie the down. good thing is, mm -hmm. like when in fact, mm -hmm. when you are like in worship times, mm -hmm. when you establish that deep connectivity mm -hmm. with God, mm -hmm. and you really come to understand that. It's a personal response mm -hmm. and it's a personal experience. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't even force the emotions. Oh yes, it will just come. I it, mean, just yes, comes it just comes. Because we never leave God's presence or we are never in God's presence and we are never the same. Yeah. Sometimes you can be a hard guy, hard guy. But say, oh, Jenna Shua, well, I remember when we were children, <laughs> when we were coming up in church, maybe we go for this, this Holy Ghost service or Holy Ghost anointing service and some people are falling down. Me, I've, me, me, I've, not, I've, never, I've never done me to perform that. And don't do this. I was thinking that, hey, I'm not part because be my father, they say my father now that is using his hands to touch people. Some people are falling down. He's using his hands to touch me. I'm me, not falling down. <laughs> I'm standing. Me it doesn't me. mean, I, I remember one time, it was the first time I spoke in tongues. I didn't fall down. I didn't cry. But the people were standing with me actually fell down. Some people actually cried. But I can't speak in tongues. I can't speak in tongues. Yes. But that particular day, I received the gift of the Holy Spirit. I was didn't different. cry. So everybody has their different response. Different way of responding. Yeah. So that's myth number. I don't know whatever. Four. Oh, yeah.